have got this video capture card and this happened for one single reason. Just because it was the cheapest and I was extremely curious how this works, what could be my expectations and in fact our expectations from a such cheap product. Much below 10 bucks and more than 10 times cheaper than a standard video capture card. At least in theory, this can record in full HD at 30 FPS. I've made the unboxing of camera and unfortunately I've lost the box. However, the most important thing is to put it to the test so I've got some toys to play with and find out what's all about. A bit bigger than a standard USB flash drive, on one side we have the USB output for connecting it to PC, that's USB 2.0 Type A and on the other side we have a standard HDMI input where I can plug the output of my console. There's no brand or manufacturer, just a title of what it does and almost nothing else. I won't bother to connect the video card directly on my PC, but I'm using a USB extender because that's a lot easier. There is no need for any particular cable or any particular slot, simply because the capture card works on USB 2.0. On one side I put my HDMI cable, on the other side my USB extender. Plug the HDMI on whatever device I want to record, then plug my USB cable in my PC and I'm good to go. I'm using OBS, which is an amazing software, free to use, and the capture card is automatically discovered and ready to start recording. There are some settings that can be done, however, it's plug and play and works extremely simple. Firstly, I try with the photo camera. This is the cable that goes to the capture card, so now I can record what's exactly on my screen. Why would I want to do that? Well, there are plenty of reasons. Let's say I want to see what I'm recording and I want to do that on a much larger screen than the one coming with the camera. Or I want to make a tutorial about how to configure the camera. Such things can be done by using a video capture card. And so far, this one is working pretty good. Now, moving my attention to a console. I chose the PS5 and I'm gonna try an action-adventure game. For a better understanding about how it captures the image. At the same time I'm recording the same gameplay within the console, so I can see everything side by side. Just need your help for a sec. Those things don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. You don't mind some structural problems and water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. <laughs> a real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> so far, it seems to do a great job. However, accepting the fact it's only 30 FPS, which in some situations may be a small problem. In fact, there is some input delay. And while it's playable, I have to use aim assist, otherwise trying to shoot those enemies turns out to be extremely difficult. Here are some samples side by side, from the capture card and from the console itself. Now if the PS5 can record gameplay at a higher frame rate and without having any input delay, why would I need such video capture card? Well, because it simply records everything I see, no matter what I do. For example, if I'm in menu, the capture setting is not available, so obviously what I'm showing right now was captured through the video capture card. Excepting the PS5, some previous generation consoles gives me more and more reasons to feel the need of such card. Daddy? For example, the PS4 Slim can natively output 1080p resolution, but recording within the console it will capture at just 720p. And considering the PS4 Slim plays at only 30fps, at this point what I capture through the video capture card looks better than what I capture inside the PS4. It's just the same frame rate, but at a high resolution. Until now, everything seems to be great, and I wanna test the PS3, where recording inside the console is not an option. So, the only way to record anything is by using a video capture card. Here, since the beginning, I noticed some tearing on my screen. Then moving in front of some objects with vertical lines makes this tearing extremely obvious and annoying. Firstly, I thought would be the settings, trying to find out if I can activate VSync or something. But there was nothing I could do, so at this point, in my opinion, this video capture card is not usable on PlayStation 3. The last thing to test would be something with analog signal, but 
Obviously, I have to convert it to digital because the video capture card has only HDMI input. I have this contraption, it fits the purpose, so I'm choosing a great SNES action game. As expected, the signal is not great, but converting it from analog to digital, I would say it does a great job. For a better understanding, I'm recording the same game for SNES, but part of Kawabanga collection, and I'm recording within the console on PS5. Side by side, it looks like this. For now, this capture card seems to be something great, at the price of only several dollars, excepting on PS3, for an unknown reason yet. Then another day, when I tried to play with the settings in OBS Studio, something happened. I noticed the screen tearing, again and this time on PS5, where initially worked flawless. Okay, so... Once more I realized it may be something wrong with my settings. I changed them over and over again, trying to match the output of my console with the input of the capture card, but didn't work as expected. The annoying screen turning is sometimes extremely obvious and sometimes not present at all, but turns out to be completely random. I also checked if it's overheating, but it's not. Even though this video capture card is extremely cheap and pretty much does what's supposed to, I can't recommend it simply because sometimes it has screen tearing and I couldn't manage to solve it. When something is extremely cheap, we can have lower expectations, but no matter the price, we should never have purely low expectations. Now I'll leave you with some more side-by-side -side comparisons. See you in the next one. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Jesus! Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Right, right, because of the old prison thing. Yeah. You have no idea how much I miss the cold. <laughs>